Hello everyone, welcome back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show how to detect and stop denial of service attack on the web application or web pages using SIM solution. To know what is DOS and types of DOI attacks, check this video I have explained in detail with the practical demo. Without delay, let's get into the video. For this demonstration, I'm running three virtual machines. I'm using Debian operating system and running a web server on it. So this is my victim machine. I'm going to perform my device attack from the Kali Linux. This is my attacker machine. And I'm using a security onion as my SIM solution. Comment down below video if you want to see other various cyber attack detections on security onion or other SIM solution like QRADAR, Splunk or your favorite SIM solution. Here is a scenario. EduLab is a leading education institute and they are conducting global online exam. Some hacker plan to perform denial of service attack and we plan to create a service interruption. We are going to see how EduLab security team prevent their infrastructure from DOS cyber attack and stop it. All the virtual machines are up and running. Disclaimer, this video is only for educational purpose and I am performing all the attacks on my own cyber security lab, not on any real network. Illegal hacking is a crime, so please do not try in real network and get into trouble. So now I'm in my Kali Linux. I'm going to perform my DOS attack on this web page and uh, just going to interrupt the service. To do that, I'm just using two tools. One is Nmap and Pent menu, which is available uh, in the GitHub community. I'll be giving in the link in the description. So let quickly do Nmap. I need IP and port number to do a DOS attack. So to do that, let me scan that webapp.beaverdemo.com so let me scan this one so i can see that uh, the web server is running on 80 and the protocol is using is tcp let me do a aggressive scan so that i will get the ip address it will take some time uh, but i'll give that information what we wanted okay so the ip address of the web server this is a web server ip address and uh, now i have a port number as well so now all i need to do is i need to perform the device attack so let's start the device attacks select two and uh, since it is using a tcp i'm just going to flood the traffic with the tcp so this is option i'm selecting and the target ip address is this is what the target ip address of the web server this is the web server ip address 10.0.2.5 and the port is 80 and do you want to use a source ip address or random address if it is a random address the multiple uh, the request will go from the multiple ip address so to make it very realistic i'm just giving as a random send the data with sync packet so to Try as much as possible for avoid from the firewall detection. So I'm just going with the new no option. The attack is started. So now let me go and see whether the web page is able to load or not. So let me refresh it. So you can see that it's still loading. Means so I'm just interrupting the one. So after some time, I'll get a time request out. So now it is time out. The web page is down so i have successfully completed the device attack so the hacker is happy so let's go and see the, what is the edilab security team how they detecting the device attacks and how they stopping it let's go and see it on it so now we will see the defense part and we will see how to detect and stop the device attack security onion so this is the uh, dashboard sim dashboards and uh, edulab security analyst is seeing that there are multiple ip addresses coming and it seems like uh, uh, the it is device attack and uh, alert is popping over so it sees like tcp packets and uh, it is attack is happening and you can see that the multiple packets are coming and it is targeting the web server 
10.2.5. So to stop this DOS attack, he have to do a three things. So step number one, he using a Cloudflare DOS protection. So all he have to do is he have to come to that his Cloudflare dashboard and ensure he is under attack. So that what will happen is it will do a filter. It will allow only legitimate traffic and it will block all the uh, malware traffic uh, getting into the web server request. So when he is trying to request, everything is first of all, it's going to the Cloudflare one and it is filtering, it's just checking if it is a legitimate traffic, then it will be redirect to the website. So step number two, I just need to change my web server IP address because I can see that all the request is going to this destination IP address. So by doing that, I can uh, stop device attack. So now I need to quickly log into the web server and need to change the IP address. So I have changed my web server IP address and uh, even I update the IP address in my host mission as well. So whatever the HTTP request comes, it goes to the new IP address, not to the old one. Step three, I have exported all the IP address and I have updated in my ACL so that the firewall will block all the IP address and also uh, give a restriction in the TCP handshake in the router part. So by doing all these things, I have detected and stopped the device attack. That's it guys. I hope now you have a good amount of understanding how to detect the device attack in SIM tool. If you like this video, hit the like button and comment if you have any questions and suggestions. If you think video is useful, please consider to subscribing the channel. Show your support by giving the like, comment, share and subscribing. Follow me on social media platform. Thank you all for watching this video. Signing off now. See you soon with another video.